figure out which of the following are equal to tangent theta. So for uh, choice P, we have sine of pi over 2 minus theta over cosine of pi over 2 minus theta. So whenever you have sine over cosine of the same thing, that gives you tangent of that. So this is tangent of pi over 2 minus theta. Alright, so tangent of pi over 2 minus theta is not the same thing as tangent of theta. So this is saying tangent of the complementary angle to theta, which is, in other words, cotangent of theta. So P is not equal to tan theta. All right, Q, which is secant theta over cosecant theta. This is the tricky one here. We have secant theta over cosecant theta. So remember that this is equal to 1 over cosine theta over 1 over sine theta. And by flipping the appropriate fractions, you'll get that this is equal to sine theta over cosine theta which is equal to tangent theta. But there's one problem that doing it this way we kind of skipped out on. For tangent of theta being sine over cosine, cosine of theta cannot be zero because you would have undefined. We have cosine theta on the denominator here, also cosine theta cannot be zero. That works fine. However, this is also saying that sine theta cannot be zero or else we wouldn't have had cosecant theta to start with. That is actually okay in the normal tan theta graph. So this, what this is equal to is tangent theta as long as sine theta is not zero. So this is not going to be the same because our domains are different. So secant over cosecant is only equal to tangent of theta as long as you don't have an angle that makes sine of, sine of theta equal to zero. So these are not the same thing. So this is pretty similar to when you've done a function composition and all those types of things. When you're looking at the domain, you have to look at it before you simplify stuff. So sine theta cannot equal zero is one of your conditions in that um, function. So finally, choice R, which says tangent of theta plus pi. So this is just testing your knowledge of the graph of tangent of theta. Remember that tangent of theta has a period of pi. So if you're shifting it by pi, you're shifting it by an entire period, which means you got back to the exact same thing. This is definitely equal to tangent theta. So R is equal to tangent theta. P and Q are not, so our answer here is R only.